Wabunge moja kutoka eneo la Kaskazini Mashariki wamezuiliwa na kuhojiwa kwa muda katika uwanja wa ndege wa Jomo Kenyatta hapa jijini Nairobi wakitakiwa kueleza kuhusu ziara yao isiyo rasmi katika taifa jirani la Somalia. Huku serikali kisema kwamba huenda wabunge hao walikuwa na nia nzuri kama walivyojieleza walivunja sheria za nchi. Hassan Mugambi anatuarifu zaidi. Pengine ilikuwa ziara waliyosema ilitarajiwa kutatua maswala fulani yanayoyumbisha changamoto za kiusalama katika eneo la kaskazini mashariki na taifa kwa jumla lakini ni safari iliyoacha matatani wabunge moja wakijumuisha wabunge wote sita wa kaunti ya Mandera watatu wa Wajir na wawili wa kaunti ya Garissa wabunge hao wakiwemo Ahmed Kolosh wa Wajia Magharibi Ibrahim Abdi Walafe, Rashid Kasim wa Wajia Mashariki, Muhammad Hire wa Lagdera, Omar Maalim wa Mandera Mashariki, Bashir Abdullahi wa Mandera Kaskazini, Adan Haji wa Mandera Magharibi, Kulo Maalim wa Banisa, Adan Ali Sheikh wa Mandera Kusini, Muhammad Dahir wa Dadab na Ahmed Bashane wa Tarbaj. Ubunge hao kidai walifanya kikao na rais wa taifa hilo Muhammad Abdullahi Farmajo. Through the knowledge of His Excellency Uhuru Mugabe Kenyatta who has challenged the leadership to be forthright in their fight against al-shabab we thought it wise to engage our neighboring country somalia so that we can be able to to attend to the issues of insecurity which is affecting our common boundary and i want to make it extremely clear that we met with only one person and that is the president of the federal government of somalia in person because we thought we will upscale this issue to the highest level. Why we did that is because Al-Shabaab's foundation and home is in Somalia. They are the ones who have made us suffer this magnitude. Kulingana na wabunge hao waliorejea nchini mapema Jumapili baada ya ziara ya siku mbili kikao hicho pia kiliangazia uhusiano wa kidiplomasia kati ya taifa hilo la upembe wa Afrika na Kenya. We also delivered the message that he needs to deescalate the issue of having rhetoric letters accusing Kenya left and right and told him in person that we plead with you please stop those things hata hivyo katibu wa usalama wa ndani katika wizara ya usalama wa ndani Murithi Kangi alisema ziara ya bunge hao ilikiuka maadili ya kitaifa engagements with foreign nations must go through the minister of foreign affairs it is from that point that office of foreign affairs that the agenda is set and the, prote- the protocols are agreed upon. In this case, it didn't happen. We are not under MFA, but issues of parliamentary is a parliamentary issue. We have parliamentary privileges. We'll sort it out. But not, not it's a process. But as going or whatever, we want there in our own capacity. Uh, we don't report to MFA. Thank you. Ziara ya bunge hawa ikitokea baada ya kikao na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliyowapa changamoto ya kutafuta suluhu kwenye matatizo ya kiusalama katika eneo lao. Eneo ambalo limeendelea kuwa uwanja wa mashambulizi kutoka kwa wanamgambo wa Al-Shabaab. Hali sasa ileolemaza kabisa masomo baada ya walimu wasio wazawa wa eneo la kaskazini mashariki kuhama kufuatia mauaji ya wenzao. Hassan Mugambi Runinga Citizen kutoka Nairobi.